Hello, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is President Obama goes to visit the, oh yes, the Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, Memorial standing tall in Washington, D.C. Of course, no help from the Republicans because they've stalled it for years and years and years. Oh, but please do help him get his jobs passed because it's the Republicans who are preventing it from happening. But for now, we're going to bring old Camel with comments on the headlines of today. Digital Hollywood, so. If you, if you see this, you're not seeing what you think you're seeing. No, we're digital Hollywood right now. That's true. And Obama compares the civil rights movement to the Republicans not wanting to help those that need it. Well, he said, they do not, they want to keep black America on the plantation. You know where he got the on the plantation bit? It was from Harry Belafonte and Russell Simmons complaining that Herman Cain needed to come back on the, back on the plantation. That he, he needed to join the boys back on the plantation, which are basically two racist <laughs> remarks made by two rich black men. Ah, and Obama says Iran to face the toughest possible sanctions. Yeah, like everybody. Okay, only those people that support Obama believe that that actually happened. Because they, uh, they're talking in Iran, if he fires missiles into us, into them, they will fire missiles into the United States, and the United States will live to regret it. So Obama's not going to, he's going to propose sanctions, which nobody's going to do, because they don't do any sanctions on Iran. Rod, Roger, Rod, Roger Rotman gets 11 year prison sentence. Yeah, which will basically get thrown out by the court, the higher court says they always get thrown out because it's not a, it is basically, uh, okay, he did nothing illegal. There's a difference between the words illegal and unethical. Nobody is ever found guilty of, tra of, uh, of trading like that because Certainly he knows. That's what his job what did he is. Do? To tell people. He told people that stocks were going to go up or stock, ups are going to go down. He is a trader. That's what, he he does. A, that's what he does for a living. Yeah, and they, they, they basically put him in jail for, for that. They said, well, you had knowledge that you, you shouldn't have had. Well, unfortunately, that's what he does for a living. It gives people his knowledge, and supposedly you're protected by freedom of speech, mm -hmm. not under Obama. The constitutional professor who has never read the Constitution. Uh huh. Yeah, I think they read it and then they just change no, it to their the life. The only thing that Obama knows about the Constitution was it was written by white men. Yeah, white men that are out of touch with what's going on. Yeah. Well, it was written how many years ago? 200 some on. Yeah. But they were some very intelligent people. They uh, basically, you know, eventually those same white men that, re that continued tinkering with the Constitution, freed the slaves. Mm -hmm. There was white men that gave them the vote, white men that did all of this and that, but he forgets those little details. Oh. And analysis, return of the pink slip, a risk of layoffs rising. Well, not. I, I guarantee you that this week the Obama administration will say 250 million new jobs were created. Mm -hmm. Because he can say anything he wants to say because no one can doubt, first of all, he wouldn't. Okay, how, how do you know when the president is is not telling you the truth? How? He opens his mouth. Mm. No, but he'll tell you exactly what he's going to do. If he says something, figure just the opposite, and that's what he's going to do because he could, he's a contrarian. Ah, um, and J.P. Morgan third quarter net falls and bank eyes expenses. Well, I know, and the market is massively down today. But don't worry, you can bet the market will be up on horrible news tomorrow. What happened was Obama was fooling around on the campaign tour and wasn't in the White House knowing, hey, somebody's letting that market go down. Shame on you. I need the market to go up. So then they flip a switch called an inverse program, and what goes down goes up. But they let it go down on a day when the downs are not very big. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, imagine how that happens. And contrite BlackBerry co-CEOs go into damage control. Well, yeah. if, if you're here, if you're watching this, we're in the middle of a conference where the BlackBerry people are, and I'll bet you there's not going to be one question asked to the people at RAM about their the collapse of the model. In the middle of people that have been bitching for a week about not being able to get anything done because the Blackberries weren't working. You know, imagine that. The topic didn't go there. Yeah. Well, they, they were discussing other things. Yeah. And Slovakia clears way, or was that the panel where they didn't take questions? 
every panel would intake questions. <laughs> um, Slovakia clears a way for Eurozone Rescue Fund. Which means they pay Slovakia's money that was going to be put into the rescue thing. But don't worry, Je Merkel, did, Merkel this morning made the announcement that, well, we're not as in a big hurry as we originally were to fix the problem. Which means they can't find anybody to give them $2 trillion in money. Ah. Yeah. And Slovakia clears way yeah. for Europe. Yeah, oh, you right. did talk about Well, you know, Slovakia, what can I say? Inside oil convoy blues tracking game foils crew traders. Well, because nobody knows what's going on because it's they say what happened. They, they said that the the market has more ups and downs and turns and twists than a roller coaster because that nobody knows what's going on except the president. And Kinder Morgan to buy El Paso for twenty one billion dollars. Uh, That's a lot of money. Well, yeah, well, the problem is the $21 billion is actually $38 billion because, uh, okay, Obama has nearly bankrupt the entire natural gas industry in our country because he refuses to elect. Oh, that's gas? I thought it was, El I was thought no, that was thought a lot of a, money for food. I thought it was a food thing. No, it's El Paso the largest food. natural gas company in the world, and Obama has virtually bankrupt it because he can't, you know, he's... He's hung up on green energy, and uh, of course, natural gas is green energy. But you can't get natural gas without drilling for it, and you have to have pipelines. And he doesn't believe that, even though it puts like a million people out of work. He doesn't care. S&P 500 index poised to extend the streak. Well, it sure didn't today, so it went back. I mean, to put it this way, it could clump by almost 300 points on Nasdaq and about 60 over on. But basically. Uh, the problem is this index is so low that when you have like a 60 point loss in one day, you've lost all the gains you've made in the last three weeks in one day. And Greek debt right now must be larger, Shable. Yeah, and that's why they can't, they can't get anybody to guarantee it because they, they've defaulted at least three times and now fourth is coming up because the, 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 the people, okay, the, the march on Wall Street is now being done on the Greece government. You know, they're, you know, they, they're, they're in support of the unions that the wealthy in Greece are keeping the country. You no, know, there is no wealthy in Greece anymore because they, the tax rates are so high. And uh, basically, most of the people in Greece are, <laughs> don't have to work if they don't feel like it. So. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. And Ford, UAW pact moves towards ratification. Uh, which is one of these things. We've got to give them huge bonuses for, for, for staying with the company. In, it was either, well, what happens is these companies are declaring record sales when they're not selling cars. Which I well, thought, yeah, how do they get record sales? Because what it is is they're, um, they're including the sales from out of this country, which they can't do. This is for sales in the United States. They include sales to China, to uh, Europe, any, all over the place. That's not included in the sales of the automobiles for this country. But they are now putting it together, and it shows that companies that are totally unable to sell cars in this country are selling record amounts of cars. Well, you know, that reminds me of something, um, well, <laughs> oh, actually, we'll get to that one. No, what? And, oh, but what? It has to do with the way, okay, uh, I'm going to show you how a Democrat counts to one. <laughs> and Obama likens the civil rights to economy fight at the memorial. Well, I know that uh, that basically you're racist unless you hire a black man, and you're not going to hire a black man unless the government forces you to hire it. And you have to pay for what you've done to black America. Well, he's the guy that's not helping any of them. He's black. <laughs> and, and what everybody is amazed at is that they're not going to Washington, D.C. and camping around the White House. They're going to Wall Street and camping there. They said, this doesn't have anything to do with it, with the president running for office, does it? Yeah. Yeah. He was a, okay, folks, we're going to put it this way. SEIU was there, the unions are there, and he was um, an organizer, a community organizer. That's what they do, and they can't even get, I mean, how stupid is Bill O'Reilly and Sean Hannity, if they actually believe it? Well, you know, this, you know, this can't be maintained, and the president obviously had nothing to do with it. God, that's what he does for a living, folks. Exactly. And Iran demands access to accused U.S. plotter. 
Yeah, well, because it's not... Uh, okay, here's the problem is you, Obama basically worships the ground the UN works on, walks on, and they're going to demand that the information be turned over to the Iranians so the Iranians have a chance to disprove it. That's not going to happen because Obama did it in order to get their heat off of Holder and his administration, which didn't work because as soon as they come out with that nonsense, they got more information that they basically... The next company that they gave a billion and a half dollars for, uh, basically, they knew it was called. They knew it was heading for bankruptcy. Give it the billion and a half dollars so they could defraud people in the marketplace. They got Obama on on a defraud now. Basically, they got him on oh, federal God. crime. So to talk about, he ain't gonna go to jail, but he ain't gonna be in this country after. If he gets out of office, he's fleeing to somebody else where he's safe. But where are they gonna want him? And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. You know, there, there comes a time when you realize that you're too old and you do have to get out of the way.